Arsdale Railway is a minimum gauge railway running from Arsdale along the old roads of the old Minnesota Railway where Duke Sir Andrew and Peter Sam used to work until it closed for some 10 miles to Arsdale. The engines that work on the railway are Rex, Bert, Mike, Jock and Frank. One morning in the winter of 2015, it was snowing a lot, which meant that there were lots of drifts. Daisy, enjoying the snow, are you? Yes, the other engines don't like snow, but I think it's pretty. Oh really? I thought you didn't think it was pretty after you got stuck in the snow when Thomas was at the National Railway Museum in York. Daisy shuddered at the thought to be reminded of it. Just then, Frank came up with a flatbed and a coach. Ugh. Why did the small controller have to drag me out of the shed so I can take the workman's train in the cold weather? What's wrong, Frank? The small controller has sent me to take the workmen to the quarry because there are frozen points there. Once I'm done there, I'm going back to my nice, warm shed. I really can't say I blame you for not wanting to go out in the snow. The workman got into Frank's coach and he set off to the quarry. At the quarry, Bert had been there overnight due to the frozen points. He waited until the men had fixed them. <sighs> How much longer will I have to wait? It feels like days now! It should be too long now. I have to collect some trucks as well. Soon the points were fixed and Bert puffed away. Later, Frank was returning to Arlsberg with the workman's train. It won't be much further. Soon, I'll go back to my nice warm shed. But however, there was trouble. Help! Help! Wait a moment. Bert, is that you? Yes! I'm stuck in the snow. I tried to stop when I saw the drift, but the trucks pushed me into it. Stay there. I'll get help. And Frank dashed away back to the quarry. Why are you back in such a rush, Frank? 
Birds are stuck in the snow, and I need to get someone to help him out. Jack the front loader was nearby, and he wanted to help. I'll help uh, dig him out. All right, but wouldn't you be too big to fit on a flatbed? It's likely better it's done than nothing, I guess. Hang on, Bert. I've brought Jack to help. And Sue and Jack was working very hard to free birds, and it wasn't long until he was out of the snowdrift. Thank you, Jack. Come on, Bert. Let's get the back to the sheds. Hello, Frank. I see you rescued Bert from the snow. I know! Jack also came along and helped take him out as well! Just then, Douglas buffed up. <sighs> oh, poor Frank. I heard about your brave actions to help Bert. I just wanted to say good work! Thank you, Douglas. It does goes to show how decent being grumpy you do have a good heart. I can't wait to tell the small controller about it. And he, he was very proud of Frank. Well, Frank, I am very pleased with you today and how you and Jack helped get her out of the snow. You are a really useful diesel. Oh, thank you, sir. Even Miss Jenny was pleased when Jack got back to the yards. Spot on, Jack. You make her mother proud. Thanks, Miss Jenny. Well done, man. Thank you, Thumper. Yes, well done. You were very brave to rescue Bert from that snowdrift. Yes, indeed, Alfie. Yes, indeed.